Drone technology has changed the way many industries do business, but the technology is still emerging and the possibilities to leverage how drone tech will be used in the future are sky high. The industry leaders at Quiet Professionals are providing turnkey solutions, superior skills, and proven performance. Drones are known as SUAS, small unmanned aerial systems. Some people call them unmanned aerial systems. They're also known as UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. So the names can be switched around and synonymous. Drones can be looked at as good and they can be looked at as bad. There are pros and cons to drones in the community. Both sides have relevant issues that they discuss. Uh, we would look at a drone that's used for things like finding a lost hiker in the woods is a great thing with a standoff camera with a high definition lens that can look from miles away and we can find lost hikers. Another really useful application for these drones is for recovering from natural disaster. Things like hurricanes, tornadoes, or even earthquakes, infrastructure can be damaged or destroyed. And finding a safe evacuation route for uh, civilians is extremely useful. We can throw a drone up in a matter of hours and have a 3D rendered map showing people a safe route of evacuation. Quiet Professionals serves a variety of industries, including the Department of Defense, Information Technology, Intelligence Services, construction and real estate. But that's just the beginning, and it all began with an idea. I joined the Army in the late 80s, went into the conventional military. So I tried out and got accepted for the Special Forces and became a Green Beret. In doing so, I got to work with new technologies and advancements in technologies that most people don't get to see or use. That was terrific, but I still felt like there was something more, something more that I needed to do there was more out there. That something more became Quiet Professionals. Geospatial mapping is also a big part of what they do. This important technology offers support to our servicemen and women around the world and helps the construction industry keep track of their projects. So there's really two different types of geospatial mapping that we deal with. There's uh, 3D orthomosaic mapping and there's LiDAR mapping, which is a little bit more accurate. Uh, more commonly is the 3D orthomosaic renderings and basically that's going to be a drone carrying out a mission, typically flying in a grid format, uh, sometimes in orbit around a point of interest. So rather than sending a helicopter in the air to uh, collect this image data or other information and emitting carbon, you're actually sending an electric drone in the air, which is going to take a fraction of the time. It's all a lot smaller, a lot lighter, a lot quicker, and a lot more effective. And Quiet Professionals Pilot Training Program is led by a team of senior pilots in Tampa, Florida. So the senior pilots that we have started the program for us over three and a half years ago. They're both academically and self-taught. Our pilots and technicians are able to build uh, and modify SUAS platforms or drones uh, to better fit customers' needs. Um, whether that's uh, you know, getting your company certified, uh, Part 107 certified, um, getting your pilots up to speed on the technical aspects of drones, everything from uh, technical building and flying, um, all the way to consulting on uh, Part 107 and all the FAA waivers that come along with that. Some of the drones that we operate would be comparable to a Formula One car. Uh, these things are very high performance. They're very sensitive when it comes to throttle inputs. In some cases, they are more optimal for uh, meeting customers' needs. For example, getting intelligence or ISR on a target uh, downrange. Without this license, uh, you can only use SUAS or drones for hobby use. They've driven themselves uh, to become the best pilots, research and development experts, and innovators that we have here in the company. Research and development has got to be my favorite part of the job. It's definitely the most rewarding. Um, taking ideas and concepts that nobody has ever done before or even just improving upon things that other people have tried is absolutely exhilarating. So what does the future hold for drone technology? We'll be able to use drones for things that we've never thought of before. Flying taxis. They'll be safer soon to fly in, a, in an automated drone, in an unmanned drone, as opposed to driving in your own car. So just as phones, cars, watches, and other technology has become smarter, I see drones doing the same thing. I have absolutely no doubt that by 2030, everybody will have some kind of drone technology in the home or in the workplace. And on top of that, I hope that Florida, and specifically Tampa, becomes that tech and innovative hub for all the other cities around the world to mirror after. For more information about how Quiet Professionals products and technology can work for you, 
visit their website at quietprofessionalsllc.com and of course, visit our website at insidetheblueprint.com.